What's up, everybody? Deuces Jack at VapingInsider.com. Look what I got for you today. Yeah, that's a pretty looking resin green there, isn't it? I got the Falcon on top. Check out my review of that. This is one of the best sub-ohm tanks on the market. But let's talk about the mod. This is the FamoVape Bitbox mod. Got a little Bitbox emblem on the fire button there. Okay, let's cut down low. Let's check it out. We'll go over the menu system. I'll give you a quick tour around the mod, and then we're out of here as usual. Okay, everyone, welcome down low to the FamoVape Bitbox 218 watt mod review okay these are the three colors that it's available in all right let's take a quick tour around the box um there's your color code over there not much going on on the other sides on the back here all right is where we have some of the specs 218 watts fires in 0 0.02 seconds Resistance range from 0 0.05 to 2.5 ohms. It does nickel, titanium, and stainless steel temperature control. We'll talk about that. Bypass mode, DIY mode, which is like a curve feature, and it has USB charging. In the box, you will get the mod itself, a USB cable, user manual, and a warranty card. Let's open this thing up and get down to the nitty gritty here we go check that out beautiful looking green mod this is the one that i'm keeping and the only reason i'm keeping it is because it's the only mod that actually matches with my horizon tech falcon tank okay so that's a quick tour around the mod let's see what we have in the box usb cable looks like a decent one we all have got a million of them. Let's take the foam insert out. Nothing underneath. Inside the foam insert, we have a Bitbox manual. All right. Looks to be written in some halfway decent English. All right. File that to the side. We have a QC card that slipped out while I was taking it out. And we have a Warren T card. Okay, all right, standard stuff here, no surprises. Let me show you the other colors. There is the blue, okay, and there is the purple. Nice looking colors, I like the resin, okay? Buttons have a weird shape to them. There's your USB port, all right? Um, let's take the other two away from here. Center mounted 510, stainless steel plate, Plates held in place by four star screws, okay? Gold plated, spring loaded 510. I'd call it a loose, long throw, okay? Threading around here is pretty smooth. Um, the, the plate is not raised off the top of the mod. It does sit flush, so all of your atomizers will sit flush on this. All right, here's the battery door. It's a push out pull up type of door we have some venting over here some arrow markings telling you where to push all right once it's open we have some gold plated button style contacts here i don't see any battery indicator oh i'm sorry my bad we have some battery indicator markings over here negative positive okay in the bottom there let's see if we can get that there are no markings but we have a spring loaded gold plated contact okay so battery door so far has been pretty good let's load some batteries in here positive side there negative side there push down and you kind of got to give it a click you kind of really got to push it and give it a nice click for it to close all the way all right there you saw a clock it does have a clock feature on it okay i really like that always have one, two, three, four, five, Famo Vape. All right. We have a colorful screen. All right. Nice square screen, nice and big. Battery indicator markings over here. It's got that speedometer style screen. Okay. There is your wattage. There is your puff counter in seconds. Power, that's your mode. You're in normal mode. Puff counter in amount of puffs. You have your resistance there. 
and your applied voltage there, okay? Now, in order to navigate this menu screen, three settings, okay, brings you into the setting menu. This will give you your version of your software, all right? This will uh, restore your factory settings. We're gonna hit no. This will set your clock, okay? And this is back, all right? Wattage scrolls in half watt increments. I like that. Definitely better than the 0.1 watt increments. Okay, scrolls pretty fast. Goes up to 218 watts. All right. Goes down pretty fast, man. They did a good job on that. Goes down to 10 watts. All right. Well, there we go. In order to get into the main menu system, you hit the plus and minus button together. Now you can scroll through your different modes. Okay, there is your power mode, DIY mode, TCR, temperature control and nickel, bypass, temperature control and stainless steel, temperature control in titanium. Okay, let's go to the stainless steel mode. All right, there you can see Celsius. All right. Now it goes up to 350 degrees Celsius, then it round robins, 212 degrees Fahrenheit, all the way up to, come on, let's go, all the way up to 662 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, so hit this again, we go back to power mode, all right, here in power mode you can have power mode H, which is hard. Power mode S, which is soft. Power mode N, which is normal. Okay, I normally like to keep it just in normal. All right. And then let me show you the DIY. There's your curve in DIY. You can put it up, you can put it down, whatever you want to do. See? Move on to the next one. All right. So that's how you do a power curve. Okay, now once you're out of DIY mode, we'll check some of the other modes. Here's bypass mode, okay. Hit the plus and minus again. You can go into TCR, you can set your TCR, okay. And we're gonna go back to power mode now, okay. And that's it, man, that's really the whole menu system. Nice, bright, colorful screen. I think they did a good job on the screen. Um, as far as the size of the mod, though, this is really big for a dual 18650 mod. I like the fire button. Nice and clicky, okay? These buttons have a weird shape to them, but they work well. They have the same type of nice clickiness as the fire button, all right? That's it for the Famovape Bitbox 218-watt mod device. Let's cut back on top. Let's talk about it a little bit. Cons, pros, we're out of here. See you back on top. All right, everyone, we're back on top with the Bitbox Mod by Famovape. You just saw it down low. It's got some nice, pretty resin on it. I mean, I like the colors. They do look nice. They're a little on the soft side, but they look really nice. One thing I don't like about this mod, very, very big for a dual 18650 mod. I mean, this thing's as big as most dual 21700 mods. And it's also got a very, I don't know, it's just, it's big and cheap feeling to me. It really is. Um, I, I just have mixed feelings about it. It's got some pros to it, but it's got more cons than pros. So let's get into it. Let's go over the official cons and pros, all right? Um, first con, like I said, very cheap feel to it. I don't like the way it feels. It's too light. It's just, I don't like the top plate and the bottom plate. I don't like the way they did that silver. It just has a very cheap look and feel to it. All right. Second con is going to be the battery door is a little janky. It's too wiggly when it's open. All right. And you really got to force it shut. Give it a hard push to get it to lock down. Not a fan of that. Fix that battery door, famo vape. Other con is going to be Look at this button. I mean, this thing is so mushy. It is ridiculously mushy, and I hate that Bitcoin emblem on it. What? 
What does Bitcoin have to do with vaping? Why do I have a Bitcoin emblem on my button? I mean, what are you companies thinking of out there? I don't understand. It just makes no sense to me, okay? The other thing about the buttons is they rattle. They're noisy buttons. They, this thing's got a lot of button rattle, okay? As far as the performance goes, I think it's a little bit underpowered in power mode. Probably 5 to 15 watts shy, depending where you're at on the spectrum, okay? The TC on it sucks. It doesn't do good TC. You guys know I know good TC. This is not it. Okay, it just, it's very anemic at best, all right? One of the things that probably makes it anemic is the other con. There's no wattage adjustment in TC mode. I, at least I haven't been able to, found it, uh, to find it. I've done every button combination known to man on this thing, and I have no way of adjusting my wattage in TC mode, okay? So that's always going to be a con on this channel, okay? Other con is it goes to sleep way too fast. It's got an annoying sleep feature, Okay, um, last con is going to be, come on, man, price point on this thing, 80 bucks? Are you kidding me, man? I mean, this feels like a $35, $40 mod. It's not an $80 mod. One thing's for sure, you can do a lot better performance and size-wise for $80 than the FamoVape BitBox. Sorry, man, that price point is absolutely ridiculous, all right? And that's it on the cons. Let's get it, move on to the pros, okay? First pro is going to be center-mounted 510 connection, holds 30 millimeter atomizers. That'll always be a pro on this channel, okay? Other pro, nice colorful screen. It's a big screen. They laid it out nicely. Good job on the screen, okay? Other pro has curve mode. I don't use curve mode, but I know a ton of people out there like it. If you like it, it's on this box mod, okay? It's a full resin mod. That's a nice pro, okay? Yeah. It does have that cheap feel, but the resin is actually really nice. I can't under, I, it's hard for me to tell you why it feels cheap. The resin doesn't look cheap. It just, it just feels cheap, but it's a full resin mod, so we'll give them a pro for that, all right? We'll give them another pro for the clock feature. I think every mod made nowadays should have a clock feature in it, either in the corner of the screen or when it goes into sleep mode, I should be able to see a clock. I like that, okay? And that's basically it on the pros, okay? Um, don't forget, we do have a giveaway for this. We are going to be giving away the blue and the purple one that you saw down low, all right? In order to enter this giveaway, all you have to do is be a subscriber, comment on this video, and share it somewhere. Share it on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, I don't care where you share it, but in your comment, let me know where you share it. We're looking for a little bit of help here. We're trying to build the channel, okay? I, I could use all the shares that I could get. If you like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification button, okay? Um, I'll pick the winner in a couple of days, all right? I'll put it through a randomizer. In order to qualify for this win, you have to be in the co continental United States. You have to be of age, which is 21 or over, and you have to be able to prove it, okay? When, when I do find the winner, I will comment in your comment, a reply that you are the winner, and... We'll work out how we're going to exchange all the information that I just told you that I need. Okay? First winner gets to pick their choice of color, purple or blue. Okay? Check out all the specs down below. Make sure you check out where you can buy the BitBox. Okay? Maybe this thing really appeals to you. Maybe you like big resin mods. We'll have links to it down below. Check out our forum, vapinginsider.com forward slash forum. That's where I am all the time. If you have any questions on this or any other review I've done, hit me up over there. And that's it, man. We're out of here for today. You keep living that vape life. Deuces.